All right, Shalom. First, we're gonna start by saying Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, Raka, Raka, Kodash, Barakat. First of all, we want to give all praises and uh, glory and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. That's right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well in peace and salutations to Yaakim out there pushing this word in truth. Uh, coming at you with another sit down and what we're pretty much going to be talking about is uh once you put your hand to this plow this should be your main concern in life you shouldn't look back uh to this carnal world because uh once you get more in this truth and you stay in it for longer those demons are going to start attacking you more and more and start putting those doubts into your mind but you just got to push through and persevere right. and, and you know sometimes like you're gonna you're gonna take a little break like you'll be studying and you'll take a little break and you may watch like a a basketball game or go watch a movie or something like that but that shouldn't become your main concern that shouldn't drag you further and further away from this truth and also uh, you may get like a, a little money from a job and such but you gotta remember your first uh, commitment to the the most important lady in your life which is uh, the, true. the scriptures right. and I'm gonna start it off with Luke chapter 9 uh, verse 59 and he said unto another, follow me. This is Yahweh speaking. But he said, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. And Yahweh said unto him, let the dead bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. And the, oh, you got it. Oh, well, <clears throat> that's the most important thing, man. The most important thing, man, is to preach the Heavenly Father's will, man. You know, the oncoming kingdom that's coming for who? The state of Israel, man, the elect of the children of Israel, and then following up the uh, rest of the children of Israel, man. You know what I mean? Like we, we, you know, we shouldn't be uh, uh, worrying about uh, funerals. We shouldn't be worrying about uh, 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 our children' graduations and all that extra shit, man. You know what I mean? At least not putting our full energy into it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, not going to camp, missing camp for weeks on end because your your woman wants y'all Saturdays, you know? It's and not how, that, you know, like I say, that's not how it should go, man. This should be your numero uno, man. And what the brother was just saying, if that is your main concern, your woman or your children or anything, and the Most High is going to put you in a situation during Jacob's trouble, you're going to have to truly decide Am I going to take that chip, for instance, to save my family, or am I going to forsake my family and make my uh, election assured? Because right. as Yahweh I said, you'll receive a hundredfold in the kingdom right. for uh, giving up everything. And in this flesh, of course, that's going to seem like a major thing, uh, giving up your loved ones, and it may even seem selfish to you, but the Most High, He's not a man that He should should lie on his promises so he's going to definitely give you a hundredfold and you it'll just be like a short nightmare just like that you'll be it'll be you'll be in a you'll be thinking this is the best decision i ever made the best decision the best more than the best decision right right and i you gotta, just got you just got to continue to follow the lord's word if the lord said it he mean it man mm -hmm. has his has, has his prophecies failed no and if you truly are in the spirit, you should be seeing these prophecies coming like coming one after another. Like clockwork. Especially since uh, Trump um, with that Iran nuclear deal where he's decided to reimpose sanctions, which pretty much pulls the U.S. out of it. You've got Europe, the Ten Heads, starting to buck up against that whore. Yep. It's just... It's beautiful. It's, it's Exactly. Beautiful. There's going to be a word in the kingdom even better than beautiful to describe it once right. everything's said and done. Right. And I got a little bit more. Uh, verse uh, Luke chapter 9, verse 61. And another also said, Lord, I will father thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. Like we were just saying, your women or your children, mm -hmm. or something like your family members who, uh, if they know a little bit about this truth, they'll think you're a cult member and try to pull you out of it. And you'll try to do things to try to right. keep your household calm. Yeah, they always try to say things that can trigger the emotion. You know what I mean? Oh, nigga, you in a coat. Oh, them dudes don't even know you. They don't like you. You don't even know them dudes. This is blood. This is flesh and blood over everything else. Mm -hmm. But that flesh and blood's going to be the main ones that's going to turn against you once you get yes. put on that terrorist list. Yes. 
Yes. And Yahweh, verse 62, and Yahweh said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of the Most That's High. Right. So when you go to looking back and thinking that, oh man, but I should be able to do this as well. Nah, man, the, the, the Lord said, man, you can't serve Lord and man, man. You know? You have to be all in with me or nothing, man. If you're out here smoking weed, and still want to hang out with them niggas that uh that you used to hang out with, just just to uh you want to blow off your brothers just to hang out. Well, I did camp already. I'm about to go hang out with my old my old dudes, dude. That's you looking back. If you if you uh if the brothership fellow if the brother fellowshipping and and you trying to oh man it's moving night with the wife. Oh, just wait the Sunday. Like, like, hey man, a lot of you guys, man, and, and, and GMS as well, a lot of you guys, man, be in the wrong state of mind, man. Gotta ask the Heavenly Father to give you more faith, man, and put in that, and put in this, this work, man. You know, do these videos, go out there to them highways and byways, fellowship with the brethren, man. Everything else is going to, to revolve around this truth. Other than that, man, you don't have everything you don't have the truth revolving around your life. You have everything else revolving around this truth, man. You know? I go ahead and get a... You got a Luke, Luke 9, 59, huh? Luke 9, 59. Uh, yeah, I just read through all those. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I'm going to get this Peter's. All right. Matter of fact, get that Genesis real fast. Genesis. That'll go perfect. Get that Genesis. Yeah. 19. This is Genesis 19, uh, verse 25 to 26. And he overthrew those cities. This is talking about when uh, the Most High um, overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and uh, cast that uh, fire and brimstone on it. Right. And all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. But and, his wife... And if I can say this, the scripture that the brother just read said, No man looking back. It's fit for the kingdom of the uh, of the, the Most High. Mm -hmm. Quick, you read now. But his wife, speaking a lot, looked back from behind him. And that's the definition of you niggas, man. You know what I mean? If, if Lot was a nigger, he would have went back for his wife. But most of you niggas ain't as, ain't gonna be as strong as Lot, man. Y'all put a lot of of, of how can I say? Y'all put a lot of, of of importance importance, yeah, in your woman, man. Not just your women, but your possessions. Your possessions. Too. That's right. That's, That's what right. you think makes you is that, that car and that gold chain and those shoes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. But his wife looked back from behind him, and she became a pillar of salt. Took that hand off the plow, and look what happened. Became a pillar of salt, and that's uh. You can see that as a, um, just what the brother said, as a. You looking back because this is a America's note. It's a queendom. Mm -hmm. This is they put the women on top. The queen of heaven spirit is heavy out here. Man. So you've got that. Oh, the black woman is God. I'm a worshiper spirit. So as the brother was saying, you could be seen as a lot's wife with that emotional spirit, but also a lot of you uh, worship your women. And if your women say during Jacob's trouble gets hungry and it's like, oh, our kids are starving. We got to get that chip so we can survive. A lot of y'all are gonna bitch, gonna bitch up. <laughs> And you're gonna get that chip. You're gonna fold the fuck up. Man. You're gonna look back and turn into a pillar of salt from that nuclear fire this right. time. You know, we pray that brothers don't do that, but we know there's a lot of you that's gonna do it. Lord willing, we don't do it. Con. You know? Few, many are called, but few, few are chosen. chosen. That's right. Nobody's gonna know until that final second. That's right. Yeah, I'm on that. Oh, no, but I have another. I got it, I got it. Okay. Well, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead with that. This is uh, Luke chapter 14. I'm going to start at verse 26. Mm -hmm. If any man come to me, this is Yahweh speaking, and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters. And you got to understand what that word, I'm going to get that word hate in the blue letter real fast. Come. Because that word hate, it, it just means just, to abhor. You know what I mean? It means to just, just love less. You love less. You know what I mean? So oh, let me go ahead and get that. In the blue letter. Because it don't mean, because the Heavenly Father said, honor thy mother and father. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Don't curse them, which we don't. You know what I mean? We don't put curses on our mother and father, but we hate the things that they do. The things that they do are not lawful. You know? 
I'm gonna go ahead and get that, bro. The Most High is not the author of confusion, so it's no, not gonna no. tell you to hate hate your uh, mother and father, then take the same time to serve them. But while you're looking for that, I'll just finish it up. And his own life also. In his own, in his own life also. So so when you were were, were <clears throat> James, Titus, Ryan, Mark. Whatever your name was in the world, man, you gotta hate who that person was, man. That person didn't benefit you in this truth. He didn't do nothing for you, man. He stored up his treasures on earth. Mm -hmm. Whoever you may be now, Raya, Arya, Kazakia, Jaquab, whoever, you know, you're supposed to store up your treasures in heaven. You know? <clears throat> Coming with the Hebrew name comes with you starting to think in Hebrew, so you're starting to think how you were originally thinking in your past life because language is a very, that's how you control people. Language is your culture. That's right. He cannot be my disciple, so you got to forsake everything for this truth that's because, right. as we were saying earlier, anybody who gives up any, I'm kind of paraphrasing, so like if anybody who gives up anything in this life will receive a hundredfold in the kingdom to come. So this is just a little, a little season, a little nightmare that we got to push through, mm -hmm. which we're damn near towards the end of. I got that word hate. God. Uh, <clears throat> that word hate in the blue that it is, uh, Strong's G3404 Maceo. You know, and uh, sometimes the blue letter uh, go off, but it basically said to hate, pursue a hatred, detest, to be hated, detested. It's basically not to like them much. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Not, well, not more so pursue a hatred, because we're not trying to pursue our uh, parents with no type of hatred. Honor thy mother and thy father. This you is know. where coming with discernment in the spirit That's what is. Coming with discernment in the spirit. Because and this is this all ties back into the lesson. Yeah. If you keep your hand on that plow, the Most High is going to work on your mind to where you can look in the blue letter and you'll be able to discern what's the right way and what's the wrong way. That's right. But you got to store up your treasures in heaven to be able to get those abilities. Mm -hmm. Not in this earth to where you'll start thinking carnally. Exactly. And like say when you look up the definition for Esau, it'll say Harry, mm -hmm. but we know that's not what it is. That's just a yeah. little play of words, a little trick. I shot you a waste of the way is he. Mm -hmm. It's pigment. You know what I mean? It's gone. You know, but for the most part that that, that amen, that all comes with constantly staying within the spirit, man. Staying within the path, man, that the heavenly father has prescribed for you. Not going and finding all different type of ways to go into. I got more on that. Hating your own life. Hating your, hate your own life. Yeah, I got a little more. This is verse 27. And whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Hey, man, we're going to be... If you think what Yahweh Shah went through was bad, just wait till... Ain't nothing going to be ever bad as what Yahweh Shah went through. Mm -hmm. But we got to go through something similar. We have, we have to go through turmoil. Prosecution that go hate. through the fire. Yeah, they go through the fire, man. The heavenly father they gotta know if you are for him. He wants to make sure that real gold, not that pyrite, that'll just. That's right. That's once right. it goes through the Turn fire. The ashes. <laughs> Verse twenty-eight. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost? Gotta count the cost. You gotta know what you're getting yourself a part of. When the brother, I was told when I first came in, man. You're dealing with blessings and you're dealing with a curse. This can either put you in a, 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 a blessful state or this could put you in a cursed state, man. And you got to understand what that means, man. You know, because you can, hey, man, as long as you're doing what you need to do, the Heavenly Father will bless you. But once you start to veer away, you curse, bro. The Heavenly Father could put your, he will put your ass to death, man. Mm -hmm. You know, count the cost, man. You got to know what you're a part of. You could face a death. You're going to face persecution. You're going to face uh, spiritual powers beyond your reasoning coming at you every day, just hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. But you just got, that's where uh, praying and fasting and keeping mm -hmm. in the spirit comes in. You just got to endure through it all. And mm -hmm. count whether he has sufficient to finish it. So you got to, like I said, you have to know if you're, you're sufficient 
to go through this walk? Are you able to turn away from your family? Which right. you could have grown up in a home where you, you and your family did like Christmas and yep. Thanksgiving. All and that's time. like a family tradition. Yep. And yep. like you you may tell your mom not to do something but you may start crying, putting on the tears and you just gotta push through that. Yeah, push through it. Or you could be in like a family business that, that's been through like generations or something like that. And you got to forsake that and cut off that lineage yeah. of continuing your father's business yeah, to do Lord, your real father's business. Because yeah, the Lord takes us out of many walks of life. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what you're going through, man, you have to be able to put things aside and put things in the proper perspective. Am I here for the Lord or am I here for this world? I got, uh, I got uh, two more. I'll right. just go through them. Lest ha verse 29, lest haply after he hath laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him. And I've been in situations like this before. I used to like to do, uh, uh, I used to like to, what I wanted to do was like draw, write novels or comic books or stuff like that. And we, we'd get a few pages through. And like I'd, I'd be showing off everybody, like look, look, look at the progress this is making. Then something would happen, like I'd, I'd maybe lose interest in the idea, or like my artist or something would just flake out on me. Mm -hmm. And then people would be asking about it, and I'd just be sitting there looking like a fool. <laughs> people are just like, ah, oh, it, it's all talk. Right. This is like a, a typical Negro, all it talk but no, no walk. Right, right. So I've been there, so I know exactly what this thinks, and that's a, oh, and that's man. a painful thing to feel because you're so passionate about something, and it's like something you're proud of. Yeah. But then when it doesn't when it doesn't come through, everybody's all negative in this society already and wanting you to fail, especially if you're a Jake. So it's just that much That's more right. of a burden. That's right. All we, we looked at is failures. Mm -hmm. So you know when uh, boys, as yeah, boys, it, we looked at as incompetent. So when we go to speaking on things, they don't. It, regardless if we look serious or not, they don't believe us. You know? Especially since we're out there condemning people's entire lives, yeah. they want us to fail so they, they can just say, "Look at this! Look at this!" They Fucking niggas. <laughs> exactly. I knew y'all was wrong. Full of shit. Right. Uh, and, and is not able to finish it, and all that behold it begin it begin to mock him, slack it, saying, "This man began to build and was not able to finish." Yeah, and that's that's for a lot of you niggas, man. A lot of you niggas that, that put your foot to the plow and didn't finish, a lot of when you go back in the world, people gonna look at you crazy, man. Like, well, hey, what you doing here on, today, on, on Saturday? Don't you use the guard up? Man, I stopped doing that. I told you that shit wasn't gonna work, dog. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be nice to you to your face, but you even you'll know in the back of your mind just the way they'll have their, uh, their tone of voice when they speak to you about certain things. Like this. Shit, right. I'm yeah. not gonna take you seriously. I'm not gonna take you serious because you was, you was extremely serious. You could have been out there just yeah. hitting those precepts on fire, cursing out the white man, but then you end up coming out of this truth and you get with the Becky and <laughs> uh -huh. all your motherfucking mind gone. God, what was it on that? God. All right. Um, Second Peter's two and twenty one. For it had been better. It for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it and turned from the holy commandments delivered unto them. Count that cost. Know what you're getting yourself into and know once you stay in this truth and get more in it, you'll know what the consequences are for taking your hand off that plow. Sure. And even if you do bug out and come out of this truth, the Most High is going to put a spirit on you to where it's always going to be in the back of your mind. Yeah. And especially when Jacob's trouble hits, you're going to get into situations where you're going to be like, man, if I would have just stayed in the yeah. truth, that's knowing that knowledge would have been better if you didn't know and if you were living in this world and these terrors came upon you and you just took it. No, yeah. got one. It's a, uh, but it, but it is happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned unto his own vomit again. And the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So basically, man, a lot of you dudes, man, y'all was never right. In the spirit, y'all was never right, man. Y'all always still held on to that old man. You ain't put away that old man, bro. That's the reason why the Lord just delivered you. He spewed you out, man. He spewed you out of his mouth and he delivered you right back to where you wanted to be, man. 
Since you wanted to be a nigga, go ahead, man. Be a nigga. I don't need you. Go ahead. You know? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the, go ahead, go ahead and get that uh, Luke. Luke, yeah, I would just Luke twelve forty-seven. This is Luke chapter twelve, verse forty-seven, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. Should be, hey, man. If you don't put in that work, man, you're going to get... You, hey, man, it's, it's all about reaping what you sow. You know what I mean? If you, you, if, hey, if you're either going to reap according to the spirit or you're going to reap according to the flesh. And if you're putting in more work for the flesh, dude, you're going to... Hey, especially after you was dealing with the spirit, if you was a part of this truth and, and, and you want to see yourself out because it's not coming in the time span of which you want it to come, dude, you're going to get your ass bust. That's what he just said. It, what the brother just said before this precept. Uh, and that servant which knew his Lord's will, it would have been better if you had not known at all than to know this truth because you could have get beaten with those many stripes. That's and true. the Most High knows how to give a beating. He's the king of terrors. That's right. Well, the Lord... Hey, the Lord will whoop your ass way worse than your mom would. You know, you used to be scared when mom used to swing through that bitch with the belt. So you already know the Lord coming to kill. He ain't just coming to whoop no ass. He coming to kill. And he'll do that body some damage because he is the power of everything. And you are just mere meat. You just like, you just almost nothing to him. All of us. We are almost nothing. We're mere worms. We like red ants. You know when you stand over an ant pile and you just see them out there, just just running everywhere. That's how we all tell him we fall. Take that magnifying glass and put it to the hey, side. Hey man, fire and brimstone. <laughs> Turn into that pillar of salt. Yeah, brother, pillar of salt. All right, uh, Matthew six and twenty four. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. Or else you will hold unto the one and ye despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon, man. Mm -hmm. And that Mammon goes back to, of course, the so-called white man and his philosophies and his society. You know, that money that you put so much trust into with those white faces on it, man. I got to get it. I got to get this bag, bro. Man, the Lord ain't giving me no money. All I'm getting is sorrow and pain. You should have counted the cost. You should have counted the cost. You should have known what you were getting into. Look at the videos, man. Look at the videos. Look at, um, um, talk to the brothers that you're around, man. This shit is painful. This shit ain't about glory. We're going to get our glory in the kingdom like the brothers spoke about. We're going to get a hundredfold if you forsake this society. If you, if you bear your cross, that's counting the cost. Yeah, that's, that's. That's uh, uh, applying your foot to, to the ground, plowing, man. Putting that work in. Because if you if you sitting up here thinking, well, man, ain't this supposed to be easy? I know I'm an Israelite now. I know his name, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. He should bless me. Man, it don't work like that, man. It's sitting about you. It ain't about you. It's not, what What can the Lord do for me? It's what I can do for the Lord. That's right. And you got to think about the, the words used when it's saying, put your hand to the plow. That's farm work. If anybody knows anything about farming, that's back-breaking labor, back -breaking for, a, labor. for a, a little bit of return that you might know that yeah. what's going to happen. But yeah. we know what's coming. We're we going to get a hundredfold. So you're going to do that back-breaking labor for something that's guaranteed as long as you keep that hand to the plow. We're putting that continual sorrowful work in just to get continual, amazing, and beautiful love, man. Get those blisters to give Esau those blisters. That's right, man. I got another one. Now, Romans 12 and 11. It says, "Be, I mean... Uh, it's a uh, not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. So take these punishments gladly, all this affliction, and don't let it get you down. Because as we get closer and closer to the end, which honestly, it if you're in the spirit, you can see it's just yeah, right around right the corner. Right you're, you're jogging, you're jogging to just sprint to that finish line. Don't be slothful. Don't give up. Don't start thinking about the world at this last little junction. Because how much worse is your punishment punishment gonna be if you start doing some bullshit like saying all oh, the, the twelve tribe sign is off 
you, you might as well forsake the, na the name, which that could very well come soon enough, and you'll just become a bug out and just eat uh, fried chicken and hot sauce. That's right. That's right. Hold on real fast, brother. God. I'm trying to see something. Oh, 58. That was 1 Corinthians uh, 15, 50. I got it. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians um, 15 and 50. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Don't be a double-minded man, which is unstable, trying to serve two masters. Be a, be a, be steadfast and unmovable in this truth, because uh, if you work with the Most High. The Most High is going to work with you. He's going to build you up. He's going to give you the knowledge you need to get through these situations. Mm -hmm. And what you don't know is that if you're a sincere man in this truth, we've got angels around us right now. You have angels around you. Just think of how many situations you could have got your ass busted in with you not even knowing it. Right. But you had those angels there because you're unmovable and steadfast in this truth. That's right. We don't know. Like... Being out on the streets, we don't know who's watching us. We don't know what could happen when we walk home to our car. When we go home, somebody could follow. Any kind of thing would happen because yeah. we're out there breaking down the strongholds yeah. of this people kingdom. People would be upset. People can, people can literally be so mad that they can follow you and deal with you, man. But they haven't thought to make them people go about their business, man. Mm -hmm. It'd be times when we'd be on, on the block and we'd be walking away and you see people looking at you. Like, oh, y'all leaving? Oh, I'm happy. You know, but they just stand there. You know why? Because the Heavenly Father controls it all, man. So you got to have faith in that. If you don't have faith in that, man, then you're going to be all broken up out here, man. This reminds me of a scene from, uh, I think it was Batman Begins. There was a... Uh uh, the, the Rachel Dawes character who was a lawyer, she was trying to get up these trumped, trumped up charges against uh, the big crime bosses of the city and that could be seen as us breaking down these strongholds and everything and those crime bosses sent some thugs after her to catch her in the subway and right before they got her, Batman came out of nowhere and saved her ass and she didn't even, like, she didn't even expect that to happen so that could be seen as those angels coming to get you out of right. that tough spot. That's right. And I got um, this is the last one right here, uh, John twelve and twenty six. Uh, John twelve and twenty five. He that loved his life shall lose it, and he that hated his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. He, Salaki, Salaki. Keep it unto life eternal. He that loves his life and takes his hand off the plow shall lose it. He that goes back to living carnally, trying to make that a uh, that uh, trying to make money, trying to get, trying to get women, You're trying, to, trying get to get all that. The Most High is gonna. What are you gonna do? You make up all that money. You make all that money. The dollar crashes, and you got to get that chip and taste that nuclear missile. You're done. Right. You, you lived your whole life foolishly. You weren't steadfast, and unmovable. But if you go to the end, if you persevere to the end, and even if you get your head chopped off, you've shown your diligence, mm -hmm. and you'll come back, and you'll you'll have countries under your whole beck and whim. You'll have worlds under your whole beck and whim. You'll have women as far as the eyes can see. Like that one dude said in uh, 300, you'll have oracles from every corner of the empire, fresh, if I daily. Say, not only do you get physical riches, but you get spiritual riches, man. And that's going to be the most important thing, the spiritual riches, man. Man, you're going to be able to do everything that your mind, your mind wants you to do, man. And that's according to Yahweh by Shimei Awashia. Man, Yahweh Shah was able to do so many different amazing things on the earth. In his in his form. In his in his form as Yahweh Shah, man. He was able to do spiritual things, man. So what what, what more can you what more will you be able to do with, with him on the right hand side of Yahweh, man? And you too. Got this last little bit. If any man serve me. Let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. If any man serve me, him will my father honor. And that, that's, that's beautiful, man. Can you imagine the Heavenly Father putting honor, trust, love, care, 
and all the spiritual powers and all the physical riches within you, they mad. <laughs> all I can do is have faith in it. You know? I, I want to see it happen. I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Of course, we all not perfect, but you should be afraid to stop doing this work, man. Mm -hmm. That should scare you. If you're really about your father's business, then you know what the consequences would be. Sure. And even then, like, yeah, we'll, we'll get thoughts every now and then. It's like, you know, there's...